What's going on guys? It's Justin and in this video I have five um, VHSs and Blu-rays that I have watched and two pickups. So let's get this started. I'm not sure if this movie is for video is going to go on for that long, but we'll see. First off, a Blu-ray that I saw. This one I bought a couple months ago and I didn't check out for the longest time. I don't know why. Um, Star Sharon Stone and it's called Last Dance. Basically, Sharon Stone is this inmate that killed her husband, and she's on death row, and the story is based around her getting out of death row. It was a so-so movie. I only got it for five bucks, so I'm not going to complain on that one. Second movie, amazing movie, okay? This one won, uh, two, or so I had two Academy Award nominations. It didn't win, but in watching it, I think it should have won because it was a fucking amazing movie. The movie that I'm talking about stars Michelle Williams, and it is um, My Week with Marilyn, an amazing movie about Marilyn Monroe and just um, how this nobody ends up uh, befriending and falling in love with Marilyn, and the story is just a great, great movie. You guys need to check it out. The next movie is a movie that um, my parents had had for years, and I never checked out before, and Basically, um, for some strange reason, it's always sat upstairs in my parents' uh, VHS little cabinet thing that they had since the 80s. And um, never seen it. It was an okay movie. Uh, it wasn't that great. Um, I know um, I read online that Conan O'Brien actually used quotes for this, from this movie or um, talked about this movie on his television show. The movie that I'm talking about is Breaker Breaker and it stars Chuck Norris. It's about um, Chuck Norris as a trucker and uh, basically his brother gets into trouble and Chuck Norris has to go there and save his brother and um, it's set in 1977 or it was filmed in 1977 so there's a lot of like old school references to it and there's still the Chuck Norris martial arts parts but it's kind of weird because it's set in a western sort of trucker situation. Um, I would say it's an okay movie. I'm not sure if it's ever been released to DVD or Blu-ray. Hmm. The next movie is another one that I found in my parents' VHS uh, cabinet. And I might have watched it once when I was younger. And I saw it there and I was like, okay, I'm going to check it out see if it's any good. Um, watching it, I was like, holy shit, this movie is the weirdest shit I've ever seen. And I was reading online, it's never been released to DVD, it's never been released to Blu-ray. And... There's probably a good reason because the movie was just so whacked out. It made like any Tim Burton movie look like, like it was on an acid trip. And it's funny because the synopsis on the back tries to compare it to Married with Children, um, just so I guess it would sell and get that Married with Children sort of fan base. But the movie was just so bizarre. And the movie that I'm referring to is Meet the Hollow Heads, um, and it stars uh, Juliette Lewis and. It's just a very, very bizarre movie. Um, basically, it's, it's a family similar, I guess, to um, the Bundys in Married with Children, like the snobs has said, but to the extreme, like I said, sort of like an acid trip. It's just weird, weird, weird movie. And the next movie is a classic movie. If you do not own this movie, you guys need to check it out. Um, Skidrix actually did a song about it last summer that became a number one hit, or it was referenced to this movie which is Bangarang. Uh, the movie that I'm referring to is Hook, starring Robin Williams, Dustin Hoffman, and Julia Roberts. Uh, it is an amazing movie. Bang, um, Bangarang um, is a reference to Lost Boys in Hook, and a great, great movie. Watching it, I was like, wow. I hadn't seen this movie in so many years, and it was just great to rewatch it. Now, let's get on to the two movies that I picked up today. I picked up two Blu-rays. The first one, I don't know why this is one of my favorite movies of all times. And I've never owned it on DVD. I've only owned it on VHS. And the movie that I'm referring to is Clueless, starring Alicia Silverstone, a great movie from the 1990s. And um, it's really funny. Lots of like pop culture references in it. And the second one is another Robin Williams movie, and it's an amazing movie. Um, I remember watching it a couple of times when I was younger. I haven't seen it in probably years, and it is Jumanji. So um, that's been my two Blu-ray pickups, my five media 
VHS Blu-ray reviews. You guys let me know what you guys think. Comment below. One love, man love. Peace.